So today we're going to talk about our HD food plot screen and you can see it's standing behind me at about nine feet which I find rather shocking because probably a month and a half ago it was about six inches tall, eight inches tall, just struggling in this drought we've had up here. But we've had some really nice rain the last couple of weeks and it just exploded. We hit it with urea probably uh, three weeks ago and this stuff has grown probably oh I would say four feet in the last three and a half weeks. So and the warm fall that we're having up here. Um, today actually it's uh, the high of 55 degrees, beautiful day here in Upper Michigan, but uh, yesterday it was hot, uh, the high was like uh, probably 81. So this has great, been great September for growing our screen. Anyway, we just wanted to show you how we laid this food plot out with this screen and then just talk about the screen a little bit. This is a variety we found probably five years ago and this company that we're dealing with does it exclusively for us. Uh, nobody else has this variety of sorghum. Uh, we've tried this variety of sorghum up against a lot of other food plot seed company. We do side by side uh, tests and the results are always the same. Ours is still standing January 1st. A lot of these other companies are flat on the ground. Um, but we had seen that uh, in our early years, earlier years of doing screens, this lodging issue. And if it was lodging for me, then I knew it was lodging for our customers. So we, we felt we owed it to our customers um, just to try to find something that will actually work. And we've, we've hit it out of the ballpark with this particular uh, strain. So what, what do we use it for? So we, we wanted to try, you know, let's just say this is a brand new food plot. And again, we'll do a panoramic later. You can see how we've got this laid out. But you want to add some screening to hide your food plot. Now, right behind me is about a seven acre horse pasture. Um, and then I'm looking at my house right now uh, towards the southeast. But anyway, what we wanted to do was set this up. And this is the first year I've got it on this back part of the food plot. It's always been open. You could see all the way across it. Now what we've done is we've really boxed this in. Okay. But, you know, we, obviously I can see our backyard. But now over here off my, my left shoulder, I can see the bedding area where it's all woods. And that's where most of the deer come out. So one of the things I was kind of curious is if up here in Upper Michigan, we've got a lot of predators. Um, this is about a half acre food plot. And I was curious to see how the deer would react to this, this part of the wall being up now for the first time. And actually they responded quite nicely. The, these deer are out here three hours before dark. Uh, we've got deer out here on, on, on the food plot. So um, I thought maybe they'd be kind of boxed in or they'd feel that they couldn't see far enough but actually it works quite well. So now what we're going to do in the years, in the years to come, we're gonna, on the back side of this, and we actually started on, on one side, we're gonna have our uh, RC Big Rock switchgrass being planted here, so we don't need this. Okay, but we're gonna still take this screen uh, and in years to come and just kind of put maybe a little wall here to divide the plot. How do the deer react to that? Do they come out even earlier or do they not like that? Can we create a pinch point for that? And so instead of going in and putting the switchgrass in right away and finding out, well, they don't like this, we'll use the screen for that. Um, this is the only product you will have an instant screen uh, within, I believe it was three months. This was planted uh, mid-June and it's now uh, uh, September 22nd. So just about three months, this old this is, and it's... And keep in mind, we've had a severe drought. We've got probably eight feet here. Uh, looking further to the north, we've got nine feet down there. And then we're going to take you to another food plot, whereas it was actually planted later than this. And some of it's 18 feet tall already. We've had some customers, I believe one was Ohio and one was lower Michigan. They've got it pushing 20 feet. Now that's all fine and dandy. And, and, and they did a really nice job of planting. But, you know, and it does look impressive. Uh, you know, a lot of the Facebook uh, posts and sites, you see everybody with this beautiful green screen. Well, that, and it looks great. And in just about any product out there, this time of year, you're going to have this. You'll have this. It's not hard to do. But to me, what's impressive is that if I can come out here in January 1st, 2nd, after all the deer season are over with, and this screen is still standing, at least 8 to 10 feet of the screen is still standing. Now you have my attention. Okay. And as, uh, as consumers, that's what you should be looking for. Again, everybody's got a cool looking screen right now because it's not being threatened. The screen is not going through any stress. You know, let's put it through some frosts. Let's put it through some snowstorms. Let's put it through uh, two or three months of just cold, brutal temperatures like we have here in Upper Michigan. And our screen, nine times out of 10, is still standing. 
Now, does the screen fall down? Yeah, in some situations we've seen it fall down. We've seen uh, you know, 80 mile an hour winds knock it down, but we've also seen winds knock down trees and the screen's still standing. So it's a pretty stout uh, planting. The, the, our best case scenario to me is that we can get the cold weather that's gonna kill it and then we'll get some snow or wind or rain that'll take the top two feet off. Well then, there's only one plant in this whole section. I can see we've got a seed head right up here, okay? And that will act as a snow catch. But to me, the best case scenario is that gets knocked down. The top two feet of that screen gets knocked down. And if it's nice and, and stiff, like we, uh, we, we hope for, I'm pretty sure that screen's gonna make it till probably mid-January, early February. So, um, but anyway, that's what we strive for. We're, we're planting here probably eight feet wide. Uh, just because we have switchgrass planted on the back side of some of the screen. Um, so it's not as wide as I'd like to see. This, the, the land that we're going to take you to next, it's 20 feet wide because I honestly didn't know how it was going to turn out. It was pure beach sand and it turned out beautiful. So uh, just a little uh, uh, update on our food plot screen, heavy duty. I did talk to the gentleman that uh, grows it for us and he said harvest is looking awesome. Uh, next year's seed is going to be great, so we'll have plenty of it probably come early January. So uh, we're going we're gonna to do a panoramic view here, and uh, we'll show you guys what we got going on here, and then we're going to head up north to a different property. All right, so I'm going to jump behind the camera, kind of give you a, an overall look on what we're doing here. This has always been a screen here. We plant it every year. We moved it over this year. We've got RC Big Rock switchgrass on the backside. And now what we did, this always used to be open. We've got hybrid popple that we planted about uh, nine or 10 years ago. Those are doing really well, but we wanted to box this part of the screen, uh, I'm sorry, the part of the food plot in. Now this is this is all new, new food plot. Uh, when we brought the property for our shop, this part came with it. So this is all new. And anyway, we wanted to see what would happen if we, you know, kind of walled this in a little bit better. And there's a seven acre horse pasture on the back side here. Kind of horse hay, cow hay. But anyway, and I thought maybe this would bother the deer being uh, penned in, so to speak. They've come out three hours early, before dark. Um, so now we're gonna look north. That's our garden. It offers a little bit of something that resembles structure, but most of the deer come out of this bedding area right down here. Uh, this is our house backyard. So we get to watch this every night. But anyway, they're coming out, actually they come out even earlier now. Uh, this was wide open first eight or nine years we had a food plot here and then last year we this was the first year we got to plant this half of the food plot now this is the second year it is brand new uh, but this was this screen was never up here and I just wanted to use it to see how they would react to a, a quote-unquote wall being here I don't think I would want to pen the whole thing in or pen the deer in I think they need a place to go we always leave it open towards the bedding area uh, but anyway, they've responded quite well. They like the sense of security, but they don't feel walled in. And uh, I think it turned out extremely well. So yeah, I wasn't uh, too optimistic how this was gonna turn out. We've got some probably 10 feet down here. And then on that end, that stuff looks like it's about 12 feet, maybe 13. So it's done extremely well. It's really rebounded from the drought. You know, we're getting a few rains. I got some more rain coming this weekend, but that's how we do it. Okay, we're up on another property, uh, Upper Michigan, and this is growing in just sand, pure beach sand. And we've got some stuff over here pushing 15, 16 feet. Uh, this is 20 feet wide because I didn't think it was gonna take very well just because of what we're planting in. You can see we got a real thin spot here. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure what happened. But here, you can get a good idea of what we're planting in. This is what we're planting in. And there's a future food plot down on the back side of this. We just wanted to see how the screen would work. Planted probably late June. We got maybe two, two and a half, two and a half, two or three rains. Um, but yeah, it's just it's really tall on that side probably get some more sun over there. That's looking south But yeah, that's that's uh, pretty crazy how tall this stuff is just growing in just pure sand No soil here. This is probably one of the best screens I've ever grown 
I mean, even on the back side here on the north side of the screen. Pretty thick stalk. I'm a little nervous on the height here. Um, we just needed to thicken up. I do see some spindly stuff, but again, we're on the north side. This is kind of spindly right here. You know, this is typical of the sorghum sudan grass screens right here. Now this is real tiny for our screen. But like right here, this is more conducive to what we're dealing with. This is thumb size in comparison. Here's a really good indicator of our screen right here. Can't even bend it. Pure sand, folks. Pretty amazing. Just a few good rains. Uh, I think this was triple 19 and urea at planting. And I have not done anything since. This stuff right here is back in here. That's got to be pushing 18 feet. Northwoods Whitetails Food Plot Screen HD. There is nothing on the market that can compare to this. Thanks for watching.